Dom Izzo, who's the sports director at WDAY Sports in Fargo, North Dakota. Uh, he said Pete Thamel uh, told them there isn't a strong appetite among the remaining 10 members to add a few Mountain West schools like San Diego State or Boise State or the WCC's Gonzaga in basketball and just soldier on. Now, that came out earlier today, 10.22 a.m., and almost right after that, you see that the Pac-12 came out and this was, uh, let's see, about an hour ago. So I'm, I'm recording this at 12.45 right now. Uh, so, you know, somewhere around uh, 11.30 or so, the Pac-12 Board of Directors met this morning and authorized the conference to immediately begin negotiations on its next media rights agreements. Now, that is after, on July 1st, they said the Board of Directors met and authorized the conference to explore all expansion options. It says the 10 university presidents and chancellors uh, remain committed to a shared mission of academic and athletic excellence on behalf of our student-athletes. So basically what they were doing is go and look and see what is available and see if there's anybody that would add any kind of value to our conference. Uh, this conference used to be called the Pac-10, and then they added Utah and Colorado. Now they have lost to USC and UCLA. They are back to 10 schools. So long as nobody else gets poached, then they're going to be all right. But, obviously, everybody's talking about the fact that they will likely get poached at some point. Utah and Colorado and the Arizona schools are already talking to the Big 12. Uh, the Pac-12 and the Big 12 are talking, etc. Basically, uh, the Pac-12 board of directors wants them to go ahead and see what the conference is worth for their next media rights agreements. Uh, John Canzano talked to, of course, Bob Thompson, who was the ex-president of Fox Sports Network, and he told Canzano that with USC and UCLA, the league was looking at around maybe half a million dollars, or half a billion, excuse me, $500 million per season for their next media rights deal. George Klyovkov would have been able to get something like that done, and it may not have been quite 500, but 490, 470, you know, somewhere around $500 million. As it sits without USC and UCLA, without that LA media market, he said that they are looking at around three hundred million dollars per year. Now that is that is not great, but it is better than what they were doing. Right, the last season they got just over twenty million dollars per school for their media rights. This would still be looking if it's if it's those ten teams, and nobody else moves, nothing else changes. You don't add in teams just to get to a certain number. At that point, three hundred million. Divided by 10, that's $30 million per school. That's not near what the Big Ten and the SEC are going to get. But that doesn't necessarily matter. I think that might still be more than what you could get if you're some of these other schools and you end up having to bounce wherever, right? If if we end up with Utah, Colorado, and the Arizona schools going to the Big 12, those other six schools are either going to have to call up Mountain West teams or they're going to have to just join with the Mountain West overall. And at that point, what is that contract really worth? Right? If you've got Stanford and Cal, and Oregon, Oregon State, Washington, Washington State, and then you add in all of the Mountain West schools, Fresno, Nevada, Boise, San Diego State, uh, Air Force, etc., what are those contracts worth? Because I would, I would wager that maybe you might get 17 to $20 million per school, Maybe. And the Mountain West schools don't even get that right now. So I would wager it might be less. You might be looking at 12 to 15 million per school because I do think that Oregon, Washington, and Stanford and Cal do bring at least that much of a market uh, to that conference. So still a lot to figure out as we go along. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.